Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, this is my very first video and I'm super excited. I've been passionate about makeup for a very, very long time. Um, I've watched tons of videos on YouTube um, of other influencers. So for my first video, um, I wanted to show my everyday look, um, which is what you see here. Um, it's what I wear to work. Um, five out of seven days. Um, I will wear this on the weekends as well, so it's a very versatile look um, and it goes with a lot of different outfits. So um, if you want to see how I create my everyday look, keep on watching. All right, so before we get into my everyday makeup routine, um, you always gotta start with a really clean, moisturized face and for my moisturizer, I use the Ren Clean Skin Care, the Global Protection Day Cream. And the reason why I love this so much is it's all natural ingredients um, and it does not get oily over the course of the day and it goes on really, really smoothly. So I love this right now. So next we'll go to the Pore Professional Pore Primer. Um, I know this is a lot of people's favorites. This is my favorite, obviously, because I got the big tube version of it. And I love this because it's so velvety, it really, really covers up your pores, blurs them as much as you can, and I just like putting it all over my T-zone. Uh, that's where I see the biggest pores. And now we have primer for the entire face, and my go-to primer um, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer. And I've used this for a very, very long time. Um, the reason why it's so great is that it works with a lot of different foundations. There's one main foundation that I've used over the course of the years, but I've tried different ones every now and then, and this primer works very well with a lot of different ones. Okay, now that our face is nice and primed, we will go into our foundation, um, which is the Makeup Forever HD in Y305. And I love this one because it's kind of medium to full coverage. Um, and so you can build it really well without it getting too cakey, um, which is really, really nice. I find that it doesn't crease that much, um, which is really nice because I'm seeing a little, couple of creases in my skin over here, kind of around my laugh lines. Um, and the foundation does a really good job of just smoothing over those. So I'll go in with a wet beauty sponge and just blend it out. And as I'm blending, I'm making sure to also get my neck, just so my face and neck match. Really comes in handy if there's gonna be a lot of pictures taken that day, if I'm gonna be on a conference call, any video settings um, will definitely capture the color of your face up against your neck. So you wanna make sure that it is even all around. Okay, now that we have our foundation blended out, um, I did do some on my lips as well. Um, I like doing that just because it helps with lip liner and lip, um, lipstick application later on, um, and you'll see why. Gives it a little bit more even tone. Um, so now I'll go into uh, my favorite concealer. It's a lot of people's favorite concealer, um, and you can see why. It has very full coverage, conceals a lot, especially here where I have bags under my eyes, very dark circles. Um, I am a mom and I also work full time. I'm a mom of two actually, um, and my newest one is about three months, so pretty much have permanent dark circles under my eyes and this is the solution to it. And I use the color Light Sand. So I actually like to extend it a little longer probably than most people. Um, my face is very round and I don't have much of a cheekbone and so I like to create that illusion as much as I can and one part of that is concealer and the next part will be um, contouring it. I'll put that on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the forehead, a little bit of the chin just to elongate it a little bit further. And I'll go back in with the damp beauty sponge and just blend that all out. Okay, now that I have blended out the Shape Tape Concealer um, and I'm looking pretty pale, but that's okay because the next um, the next step is going to be contouring. Actually, it's gonna be baking and then we get to contouring. So for baking, I love using the Laura Mercier Translucent 
loose setting powder. So I like using a damp beauty sponge as well to bake. It's just a really, really good application. So I'll put that under both eyes and just let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes, just the length of me doing my eyeshadow before I brush it off. And I tend to crease a lot um, just in my makeup, so baking definitely is my friend. So I'll bake under my eyes, I'll bake just right along my laugh lines just so I don't get that crease. And I'll just let that set in for, again, 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, next uh, we will go into contouring. So um, like I said, I do like to contour just to give an illusion of having higher cheekbones than I actually do. And I go to the Hoola by Benefit. Um, it's a lot of people's favorites as well. It's a nice uh, warm taupe. And um, some people get different brushes to do contouring. Um, for Hoola, I actually just like using the brush that it comes with. Um, it saves me six to twenty dollars on a really nice contour brush. So I just work with what it comes in. Six to twenty dollars, that's like a pack of diapers. So I will just use this brush. So I'll go in here. Obviously I've used it a lot. It's almost time to restock. Tap it off a little bit and then what I'll do, so here is my natural cheekbone um, and I'll go just a tad higher, um, just again to make that illusion that um, I have high cheekbones. So I'll go in just a little bit here on the sides and then I will brush and blend out. I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, and I will use the same brush, uh, same Hula Benefit and we'll just bronze up my entire face just right by my hairline connecting it with my contour of my cheeks and I will go into my jawline with some of this um, this hula and what I'll do is I'll actually cut into my jawline just a little bit I do again have a really round face and so just to make it a little more elongated I'll just cut right in here and then I'll follow my natural line and again, I'll go all the way down the neck just so it blends very well with my face. All right, now that I've contoured my face, my face has a little bit of color back into it um, from all of that Shape Tape Concealer, um, I will go into my eyes now. Um, and so to prime them, I use the Urban Decay uh, Eye Primer eyeshadow primer potion in minor sin um, and I love using this because if I am on the go and I need to do my makeup a little bit quicker than normal um, I use this all over my eye and so if I don't put anything on my actual lid um, it looks like I already did because there's a little bit of shimmer that's in this primer um, and so it looks like you have something on your lid and then also since I'm using it um, for the entire um, eye area it actually looks like I have put a little bit of highlighter um, next to uh, right underneath my eyebrow so it saves me a little bit of time if I'm pressed in the mornings and I'll just use my fingers to get all over the eyelid and then on the corners of my eyes as well okay and once I have the primer on, again, I've, I've left my, the baking on um, under my eyes as well on my laugh lines just to let it set a little bit and it's about the same time as it takes to um, do my eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I start with um, the transition color which I use the Urban Decay um, in Secret Service. And it's a nice um, kind of darker taupey brown, not too warm. And I'll go in with just a fluffy uh, eyeshadow brush. Um, this in particular happens to be a Morphe M533 brush. And I'll go just right into the crease of my eye and then I will blend out. All right, and next um, I will use um, another color in the crease of my eye and blend it out just a little bit compared to what I did with the um, the brown shade. Um, so for this I will use the Urban Decay uh, Blackout 
and obviously I've used it a lot. Um, it's my favorite black shadow. Um, it's super pigmented and it blends out really, really nicely. So again, I'll go in with an eyeshadow brush and just go right into the crease of my eye. Really concentrating on the outer corner and then blending it out just a tiny bit. Okay, and now I have the blackout shade, I'll go back with the same brush I used for the Secret Service brown shade. And I will just make sure everything is nicely blended. Um, there's not any harsh lines. All right, and now um, you can see that my everyday look does consist of somewhat of a smoky eye. Um, and sometimes, again, I'll just leave it like this and I'll go ahead and do eyeliner and the rest of my makeup because I did use that primer potion where it has a little bit of highlight and shimmer, um, as you can see on my lid, as well as um, towards the top of my eye here. So sometimes I'll leave it like that. If I do have more time in the morning, um, I'll go in with um, just another packing brush um, and then I will spray it with a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray just to wet it. And I will actually do a soft cut crease on my lid. And for that, I am using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette and I'm using the shade Vermeer really nice shimmery shade and I'll go in and just do a soft cut crease with my lid well, I guess it's not really soft cut crease it's a cut crease All right, and once I have that done, I'll actually go in now to contour my nose. The reason why I do this at this stage is because of how my eyelids are shaped. I have hooded eyes um, all the way to the inner corners of my eyes, and so I have to make sure that the eyeshadow is done so that I can blend my nose contour into um, my eyeshadow. So I'll go, I actually use just another um, eyeshadow brush, another fluffy, blending eyeshadow brush and I will go back into the hula and use that to contour my nose. Um, I do have a little bit of a wider nose and so I like to contour it just a little bit just to get a little bit snatched as they say. Okay, so I've contoured my nose and um, you could probably tell there's a little bit of harsh lines here, uh, but we'll go back in a little bit once we brush off this um, baking powder um, and just veil it a little bit just to get rid of those harsh contour lines. Okay, and next we'll head into um, doing my eyebrows. And so my eyebrows actually use two different products, um, same brand, because I love it. Um, I use the Dip Brow by Anastasia um, and Ebony. And so I'll use this to um, actually make the shape of it, fill it in, and then I will go into the, um, the Brow Wiz pencil, um, and then I'll make uh, little strokes here and there just to give it a little bit more uh, defined look, a little bit fuller look as well. So for my brow, I actually start at the bottom, I make that shape, and then at the top, I'll start a little bit um, a ways from the start of my eyebrow, um, and then I'll connect it. Um, just so we can still get that really soft look um, in the beginning of the eyebrow and not make it look too much like a, like the Nike eyebrow. Okay, now that I've had the basic shape drawn as well as filled it in just a tad, um, I now will go into the Brow Wiz um, eyebrow pencil and just fill it out just a little bit more. Um, and I love using this last just because I can uh, make tiny strokes just to simulate eyebrow hairs. And as you saw, I pretty much didn't have an eyebrow, so I love these products. Yes, I was born in the 90s. Everybody overplucked their eyebrows in the 90s in middle school and high school. It's what everybody did. So there's a huge generation out there with no eyebrows. It's probably why these things sell so well. All 
All right, now that I have eyebrows now, um, I will go and do my eyeliner, and uh, my favorite go-to is a lot of other people's go-to. Um, it's the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D in Trooper. Um, and I love this because of the tip brush. Um, it goes on so smooth. Um, it doesn't catch on any skin that's on your eyelid. Um, so I really love that. And I actually use a second eyeliner to do a wing tip. Um, if I do wing tip, I usually do a wing tip. Um, and I love using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in shade MNN80W. I don't know, it's black. It's the black one. And the reason why I love that is because of the um, the brush tip on here is a little bit more flexible and a little bit more, uh, it's, a little, it's a fine brush. Um, and so you're really able to get that nice uh, wing tip. So when I go to apply, I actually start um, at the corner of my eye and then draw out with just tiny strokes. All right, and then now it's time for the wing tip. And so what I need to do, since I have hooded lids, I actually start um, at the bottom uh, with my lower lash line and just start the line a little bit um, below my lash line. Um, and then I will drag it out towards the tip of uh, my eyebrow. And the reason why I do that is because if I just start the wing tip where my natural lash line is, um, it gets kind of caught in the hood of my eye um, and it makes it kind of weird in the crease. So um, I have to start lower. So now that I have my wing tip, um, I will go ahead and line my waterline. And for the eyeliner, I use the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in number M14. Again, just black. And then just so it's not so much of a harsh, just black liner on the bottom, um, I'll go back in with a, um, a more pointed eyeshadow brush um, back into the Urban Decay Blackout. And I will just go in there and smoke it out. Okay, now that I went in and smoked out the bottom of uh, my lash line, um, I still have the baking powder on from before, so um, it's done baking. Time to take it out of the oven. Let's just buff that out. And then what I'll do now is um, I'll take a little bit of just powder um, and go over and veil anything that I went a little too ham on, especially with my contouring, um, probably around my nose. There's still a little bit of a, a couple of a harsh lines um, that I want to just veil and then just a little bit on my cheekbones. So um, for that, I use the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade Nude. And I will lightly go over the bridge of my nose and veil over my contour as well as my cheekbones. And it's really nice just to blend everything together. Okay, so at this point, um, I sometimes like using blush, um, usually on days where I am wearing, wearing darker colors, um, just so there's a little pop of color. Um, and I love using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Party. And I'll go in with just an angled blush uh, brush. And I'll go just right on the top of my cheekbones, or the ones I've created at least. <laughs> just for a little bit of color into my cheeks. All right. Now that we're done with that, um, I believe the last thing, a couple of last things, uh, is definitely the lip. 
So um, for the lip, I start with the lip liner, and my favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Foxy. Um, you notice that it's my favorite go-to one because of how small it is. Again, I probably need to refill this as well. And um, you saw before that I put foundation all over um, my lips just to give it somewhat of um, an even coloration uh, for when I put on my lipstick. And so I'll go in with the lip liner first. when I line my lips I like to go in a little bit just to help the color stay a little bit more um, you can see that this is a very very dark lip liner but I do go over it with a very pale pink um, color um, and that's just to really give it a really nice um, ombre effect and it lasts throughout most of the day too so for my lipstick um, I love using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills uh, liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood All right, and last but not least, um, I will now highlight my face um, and then I'll give it a little bit of finishing spray and we'll be done. So for highlighting, the brush that I love to go to is uh, the Fenty Highlight Brush. Uh, the reason why I like that is because of the shape of the brush. It really just hugs uh, your cheekbone. And for highlighter, I go to the Becca Highlight uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector um, in Champagne Pop. I'll go right to the top of my cheekbones, or at least where I want the top of my cheekbones to be. A little bit on the side, just to give it that nice glow. And this brush, I love this brush. It just really hugs your cheek wherever you put down the brush. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit of a highlight on the tip of my nose, as well as along the bridge. And I'll go in where um, my cupid's bow is with a little bit of highlight and a little bit on my chin once again just to elongate my face and for finishing spray um, my go-to is the urban decay all-nighter um, i swear by this i've actually gotten dunked in a dunk take at work work party um, and my makeup stayed on just like this people were amazed all it was was just this great great bottle so i'll give it a couple of sprays a few sprays and this will literally last all day all right um, actually that wasn't last the last thing is actually my eyelashes um, for my everyday look I do not wear any um, false eyelashes uh, I'm not that great with them um, and it takes too much time to put them on in the morning so I'll just give them a quick curl um, and a simple mascara and I'll be done and for mascara, I use the Buxom Big Tease Plumping Mascara. All right, so this is my completed everyday look. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, go ahead and comment down below. Um, again, I'm super excited that this is my first video. Um, please click to subscribe to watch more of my makeup videos. Um, and thank you for watching.